Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Cinnamon Stitches. I am your yarn host, Jennifer. Got my Premier Yarn shirt on today. It's finally clean. <laughs> um, yeah. So, um, I also wanted to show you, I finished my daughter's campfire cardigan. Yay! Now, she has been wanting a sweater for a while and I have a couple of patterns that I set aside that I want to make. And I'm honestly, I'm afraid to make sleeves. I have never made long sleeve, long sleeved sleeves until this, and I, I'm scared of it. I, because how many times do you see where one sleeve is fatter than the other, one sleeve is longer than the other, and that is the case with this. One of the sleeves is like two stitches wider. Now, when it's on her, you can't tell, but I can tell because I'm, you know, I'm the maker. And it's like maybe a row longer. One is a row longer than the other. But I, I, I don't count. And I did not follow the pattern to specs with that one. Which I never do. I never do. I made this collar extra long this way. And that's why it folds over. I made it extra long so it would cross over if she wanted. Because she did not want buttons or anything to fasten it. So I made it extra long in the front. And also I added... I added a ribbed end to the sleeve, which is awesome. And then I changed up the bottom and I put like, uh, you know, a couple of different rows. I think I did double crochet, single crochet, and double crochet to the end just to give it a little bit of length and structure to the bottom. And after I got the hang of the, the hexagon shape, I stopped following the pattern. So I have no idea what the pattern says after like row four. This is just water. I'm trying to keep my throat lubed up. So the real reason we're here today is because I wanted to show you something. Okay, so for Christmas from my very, very special subscriber, I got these two hooks. Um, I already showed you the red one. I didn't really show you the wood one, but we're gonna. I want to show you those again. Um, I had mentioned in. Um, the holiday tag, I think, from Pettis Kim, that I had wanted an, an, an not an Odyssey. This is an Odyssey, but it's a furls. I wanted a furls hook because they're so pretty. They are so pretty, and they're ergonomic, and they just look cool. And I really wanted one, but they're kind of expensive. And I know that most of you will agree that it's expensive to spend thirty-three dollars on a hook. It is, and it's silly. But I wanted one, but I would never pay that for myself. I'd, and I never really asked for one either. So it was kind of crazy. But anyway, my husband, and I know you guys absolutely adore Mr. Cinnamon, um, for all the sweet stuff he does for me, he surprised me yesterday. Now, I told you he surprised me last week and got me a tripod, which my son broke. So we're back to our old setup with a yarn bowl with my phone hooked on it. He, um, yeah, he's really fascinated with making videos. He wants to make his own videos, and he goes around with a little tiny camera, and he goes, hello, guys, this is Cinnamon Stitches, and then he starts rambling, whatever he's talking about, wherever he's at at the time, and it is just hilarious, but it's really frustrating because he keeps trying to get into my camera equipment and my microphone and my remote control, and this tripod I've used one time, and now it's broke. So hopefully my husband can fix it or find a way to rig it up so that it'll work again. But for now, we're back on the yarn bowl. But anyway, wow, that was a rabbit trail. Um, he surprised me yesterday. He brought me a package and I was like, what is, why do you keep buying me stuff? And he's, been, I told you, he's been watching my videos. Anyway, he knows I have not stopped using this. I'll show you this. I have not stopped using this hook since I received it. Everything that I have made since I received this hook has been made with this hook. This hook is amazing. And I'm gonna go over the specs with this in a minute. But then he realized how much I love that hook and how much I am really fascinated with the furls hook. So he brought me a box which contained this. Now, I didn't realize how much he was, but he ordered this before Christmas. He ordered this right after this came. It is the Andromeda. Is that not a thing of beauty? Look at that. 
Oh, and I'm going to show you guys closes up, close ups of this in a few minutes. But I'm, I'm going to do a little review because now I have the acrylic hook, the metal hook, and the wood hook. And I'm going to do a little comparison if, if you're interested. I mean, if you're not, I totally understand. If there's no way you're going to ever buy one of these hooks, you can turn the video off now. But if you're like me and you dream big and you dream of one day having these, or even if you already have one of these, this will be a pretty neat video. I'm going to show you the differences between the, uh, the hooks. And by the way, I am in love with this. All right, so I'm going to flip the camera around if I can figure out how to get it pointing down without a tripod. <laughs> and I'm going to show you guys what we got here. Hang on just a second. All right, guys, so we're going to start with the Furls Odyssey. Give me a show of the box. I had to close the window because apparently the wind chimes were incredibly loud. Um, so this is, see, it's marked here. This is an I or a 5.5. It's marked there, which is uh, one of my favorite hooks or hook sizes, I should say. Now, the box is falling apart because, like I said, this is, <laughs> this is the exclusive hook that I have been using lately. All right, so we're going to give you a little show up close of the uh, hook. The handle here is really glittery, great glit, yeah, glittery, glittery, sparkly, red, beautiful. It reminds me of like a beautiful lipstick. And the shaft here is like so, so smooth, like so smooth. There's nothing at all to catch. Oh, well, there's a little, a little rough spot right there, but I haven't noticed that. It might just be. Oh, yeah, I can see it. I haven't noticed that because that's kind of far down the hook. So I have not at all noticed that while crocheting. As a matter of fact, the shaft on this is so smooth that if I'm using a slippery yarn, I will sometimes get crocheting so quickly that I will slide out of all of the holes. So I have to be careful. And I, I would not recommend using this with a slippery yarn like a nylon yarn or like a super smooth or shiny yarn. I would imagine that um, Karen Simply Soft would be too slippery to use with this hook. The downfalls, like I said, is that it's really slippery, but also it's heavy. Now, that's not a problem for me, but that might be a problem with someone who's having a flare up or for someone who has really bad arthritis or any kinds of problems with your hands. But I really like, and I'm not sure what the base is made out of. I know it's heavy, but I know this is metal. But I know that once you get working with this, this base actually warms up and stays warm in your hand like a metal hook would. But I, it doesn't feel metal. But even this is really, really smooth. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys kind of a neat trick that I, that I the first thing I did with this, I was like, okay, this is a heavy hook, but is it balanced? And, and what I mean by balanced is, is it heavier in the handle or is it heavier in the, the shaft? Like, is it heavier so that it's going to cause extra strain on your hand? And see if I can do it. Of course, now it's not going to do it. That is pretty well balanced so that it is course now I can't do it my hands are slippery today anyway you guys are gonna watch me fumble with this it is really well balanced to where it is there we go I did it it is as heavy on this end as it is on that end so that it is not it's not gonna cause you extra strain by this being too heavy and having something heavy or that end being too heavy and like it kind of weighs your hand down it's just it's a it's a tool trait that you should look for in any of your tools is that it's well balanced um in its weight so that's one thing i really like about it um and like i said the shaft is really smooth and it actually causes me to crochet faster so i'm going to give you a quick little demonstration i don't know what this yarn is this is kind of a rough yarn. It is not, it's not a smooth yarn. I have no idea. I think this might be Vanna's Choice, 
which is my one of my least favorite yarns of all times. But and I'm going to crochet slow because I'm crocheting around <laughs> my camera, which is not easy to do when you're not used to it. So when I get going with this, see, and that's another thing. If the yarn is not twisted, this part right here will snag. And I know that you see, if you're not, if you crochet tight, it's going to be a problem. And I have noticed it with some of the projects I've been working with, but other projects, it's not a problem at all. And actually, I am able to crochet incredibly fast with this, which is why I was able to get that cardigan done so quickly. It only took me, I think, three days to finish it. But, yeah, I mean, just, I love, and see, this is a rough yarn. So, this slides in and out. Let's see, now I'm... Snagging the yarn again with that tip. But if you're working with a smoother yarn, that, or a tightly twisted yarn, that is not a problem. Or if you crochet loosely, which apparently I'm not doing today. Whoop, see, slides right out. <laughs> That's one of the problems I had with this is when I was using a slipperier yarn, that Dark Horse Fantasy I made the cardigan out of is a really slippery, smooth yarn. And I was going so fast, go so fast, I'd slide right out. But, yeah, I really, really love this hook. I love this hook. And I love it so much that I am actually starting to save up some of my money because I want a few different colors and a few different sizes. But I absolutely, I love, I love working with this hook. It is... It's beautiful. I love the way it feels in my hands. I love the way it works up. There we go. See, now I'm a little looser and I'm not catching at all. I'm having to peek around my camera to see what I'm doing, though. I'm going to finish up this row and we're going to move on to the next hook. And I'm going to give you a little review about that wooden one next because that wooden one is the next one I reviewed and it is the same size it's an eye or a 5.5 millimeter and you're going to try it with me for the first time because I have not pulled it out of the box yet because I don't want the dog to eat it because yesterday I sat this hook down for two minutes to get up and I think I had to use the restroom and I came back and my hook had disappeared and I was furious I'm like <laughs> Don't be mouthy. See, she didn't like me telling on her. <laughs> um, anyway, my hook had disappeared. I was furious. I was looking for her. I'm like, where's my hook? Where's my hook? Scarlet, stop. She took it and tried to run out the doggy door with it. So it was at the foot of the doggy door. So I learned my lesson. I got up, I put it back in its box, and I hid it from her. So that's the Furl's Odyssey. Now we're going to move on to the Furl Streamline. Okay, and this is the wood one. They come in different colors, as you can tell by the box. This one, hmm, doesn't say on the box the size. Well, what's cute about the wooden ones is it says, yay, one minute free, time to crochet. I thought that was cute. <laughs> I like that. I'm trying to save these boxes so that, you know, all right, so we got a nice wood, and there's where it says, it says an eye of 5.5, let me see, um, Furls Crochet. Yeah, see? And it's a little bit of a darker wood. It's really beautiful. It has a really smooth finish to it. The shaft does not have, some of my wood hooks have almost splinters on it along here, and it's rough, and this is not... This almost looks like it has like less of a, a point right here, which may be easier to crochet with. But you can see that these are inline hooks where they come cut in instead of just narrowing all the way around. And I don't I usually use boy hooks, so this is different to me. You see there's a nice point there to poke into your stitches. <coughs> Sorry about the coughing, guys. All right, so this is a much, much lighter weight hook. This 
almost feels like there's nothing in your hand. It feels like hollow. It it's it actually weighs less than if you went and got like a thin branch off of a tree. That's how lightweight this is. It is so it actually feels like it's about the same the same weight as this little piece of yarn. That's how lightweight this is. And this gives you the ergonomic so it sits in your hand. Now, if you pencil grip I don't think this will work real well. I'm not positive. I don't pencil grip. So if you hold your hook the way I do, it just feels nice in the hand. It rests. The fat part is where your fingers kind of hang on to. And, you know, it just, it, you don't have to grip it. You just hold it and it just, like, sits there. And so, let's see. How does this crochet? We'll chain one. Now this, because it is not the metal... It has a more more of a grab to it. So even though it's really smooth, it is not as smooth as that metal hook is. And I can feel that right away. This hook, and this will I will end up crocheting a lot slower with this one in the long run. Um, because I can feel there's a grab on this this pricky yarn. Prickly yarn. Yeah, I really do not like the way this yarn feels. I should have grabbed something soft. <laughs> but this is a good example. So if you use like Red Heart Super Saver or Vanner's, Vanna's Choice Yarn, that's what this is, I believe. Um, this has more of a grab to it and the hook has more of a grab to it. So you can feel that it's going to drag a little bit. I'm stuck on my paper. But I really like that this hook is so lightweight. It's very lightweight. So if you have any issues with your hands and you want to try one of these I would go for the lighter weight wood one just because it is a lot this this weighs less than a, a stick metal like a thin metal hook that's how lightweight this is alright let's let's go back let's go back yeah I like this it's really lightweight so if I'm gonna work long projects I would probably use this one too because that the the Odyssey hook is heavy, and after long periods of of crocheting yesterday, my arms and my hands were killing me. And I don't know if it's from the weight of the cardigan or the weight of the hook or the combination of the two, but I was really really sore last night. Yeah, see, I like this. I don't know if you can hear the noise of the the hook rubbing against the yarn. That I'm not a fan of that. <laughs> I have, I have issues with wood. Um, I cannot eat popsicles or anything with a wooden stick because I cringe at the touch of the stick. Like I, it's, ugh. And this sound kind of reminds me of that. All right, so that was, that was pretty nice. I like this hook. It's really, it's so smooth. Like it's crazy that it's wood, but it's so smooth. But there is. You can see there's defects in it because it's real wood. You see the cracks here? I don't know if that is going to affect the long term. See, and there's not a lot of flex in this. Whereas some hooks are, uh, some wooden hooks are cheap wood. And so you, if you use it to, and I'm pushing pretty hard and it's not bending. So hopefully that means it's not going to break. Because that's my concern with wood hooks. This feels pretty darn sturdy. So, yeah, I would recommend this. I highly recommend this. And this one, I'm going to put the price in on the video. This one is less money than the metal one, I believe. Um, I'll put the price in, though. I will double check. I probably should have did that first, but I was in a hurry to make the video because I was excited about that. <laughs> All right, so that's the wood. That's the Furl Streamline. And this one is a Streamline Swirl. And it is the Andromeda, and it's the 5 millimeter. And I'm probably going to peel that tag off because that's ugly. And see, they have the different colors. This is the coffee one. It's really pretty. Or maybe that's the coffee one. I don't know. And I don't remember what that one's called. But the one in here is the Andromeda. And again, yay, one minute free. Time to crochet. I think that's so cute. Better for your hands and stitches. Free patterns. I'm going to have to check that out. Okay. Now let's get close up, up close and personal. 
This is an H, this is a five millimeter Furls Crochet. And this one again has the glitter, the blue part is really glittery, which does not show up as well as it does. Look at that, that's like, that reminds me of, I mean, it's called Andromeda, but it really does remind me of celestial things. Look at how pretty that coloring is. This is like a work of art. I'm just gonna show you real, cause it's so pretty. You see the glitter? I got the light kind of close so you guys can see the coloring. It's beautiful. Now this hook, I believe, is made out of acrylic. The box does not say. I'm pretty positive. I will double check the website because I'm pretty sure this is acrylic. This is heavier than the wood hook. It is not as heavy as the metal hook, but it is definitely light or heavier than the... Uh, it's lighter than the Odyssey. It is heavier than the the wood one but again it is acrylic now one thing I did notice this scares me a little bit hopefully this does not mean it's gonna break but there is some give in the tip now hopefully it doesn't break cuz I know that Holly from the proper pineapple has I think she has the pink one the wrong box I think she has this one and her tip snapped off. But every time I have seen any defect in any of these hooks, Furls has stepped up and replaced it free of charge. So if your hook breaks, you contact them. They'll they'll replace it. They really, really stand behind their product, which I think is kind of cool. Okay, so smoothness. This is not as smooth as either of those other hooks. <clears throat> there is a bit of grab to it. And I'll see if I can get the light to shine on here just right. You can see there is, do you see it? It is texture. I mean, it's not, it's, it's fairly smooth. But it is textured enough that I'm sure that it is going to grab onto the, the yarn. It is very, look at, oh my God, I cannot get over these colors. It's so beautiful. Look at right here. <laughs> oh, it's so pretty. Yeah. I don't know. I know that you call yarn porn, yarn porn, but what do you call it when a hook is so gorgeous and you just salivate over it? I have no idea, but it's gorgeous. And this has, this seems like it has a longer shaft. Let me, let me pull. I know it's longer than the metal one. Let me pull this one out. Oh yeah, that is definitely longer. Do you guys see that? It stays thinner longer. So that, wow, it stays thinner longer. So that means if you're doing like something that involves like stacking lots of loops on here, like if you're gonna do a puff stitch, let's try that. Two, three, do four. See, wow, you can stack a bunch of stick uh, things on there. Ah, look at that. Let's try that again. One, two, three, four. We'll pull it through. Bingo, bango. Wow. This is actually smoother than I expected it to be. This almost feels... Two, three, four. This almost feels smoother than the wood one, which I am really surprised by. Oh, see, we got a little bit of stick in there. This part is sharp again. It's not as sharp as the metal one, but it is sharper than the wood one. Of course, that will also depend on how loosely and how tightly you crochet. Oh, we're getting hung up. Getting hung up. Oh, yep, it's that part is hanging up. So that was going to be an issue. That's going to be a downfall of this is that part right, right under there. Well, at least with this yarn. I'm sure if I was using some Premier every day, this would slide in and out. Two. Whoop. Because, you know... The yarn is smoother. 
two, three, and four. Well, I know that one was better. One, two, three, and four. And that one went tight, so I know it's going to snag. Oh, yep, I lost it. I lost it. Some of this is, is human error, so it's not the hook so much, as this is the first time I'm using it. Three. And this yarn is really um, grabby. Yeah, so don't do puff stitches with this. <laughs> don't, do, don't do puff stitches with this hook. It grabs a lot. Let's do regular, and we'll see what happens. We'll go back to the half double crochets I was doing below. Oops. I was doing below. Now I can't keep the yarn on the hook. This one feels a lot different in the hand than either the wood or the uh, the um, metal one. That tip is very flimsy. Like flex, it's, I wouldn't say flimsy. It's flexing, and I can feel that, and that scares me a little bit, so I'm hesitating. It was definitely smooth, though. Oh, my yarn it is definitely flexing I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to come back and see the split in the yarn I don't know how I feel about this one yet guys it's gorgeous it's gorgeous it feels plasticky though it feels plasticky a lot And that snagging on the yarn is irritating me. So, I'm going to give you guys my honest opinions. My honest opinions. We'll pull all the hooks out of the boxes again. Still, i got to say that metal one is my favorite. It is my favorite. It comes in lots and lots of colors. It is very, very sturdy. It is very well balanced. It is heavy though, and it does, it will split yarn right here. Not as bad as this one, but it will split yarn right there because it's very got a sharp, it's got a sharp tip. Definitely has a sharp tip. This is my favorite. This is the one I would, I would buy again and again. Furl's Odyssey. This one, I think I would be more comfortable if it was maybe a size eight, like an eight millimeter even a seven, just because the, the tip that, because it flexes so much, I'm afraid it's going to break and I'm hesitating a lot. I'm really hesitating when I crochet with that. It, it really makes me nervous. And I don't want to be nervous while I'm crocheting. It's smooth though. It's very smooth. It just, I, I can feel it flexing. It is pretty though. It is pretty. I just don't know if I would buy any more of these uh, acrylic ones. I just don't know. Just because of my fear. Like I don't want to put all that money in and then be afraid to use it. You know. I will put the price points for all three of these because I know for a fact this one is $33. I think these are 22, but I could be wrong. So I'm going to double check that. These are 33. They do have ones with gold tips. The gold tips are $66. I am not paying an extra $33 because it's gold tipped. <laughs> I'm not doing it. Um, but yeah, I I just this is a really nice hook. I'm really, really happy that I received this and I probably will buy myself some more in the future, or I will have these on every birthday and Christmas wish list from here until I get all the ones that I want. <sighs> so, yeah, I like this. It's gorgeous, but it's flimsy. Not flimsy. It's flexible. You see that? That's a lot of flex. And maybe that's a good point. Maybe it's supposed to do that, but it scares me. 
It scares me. It is so pretty, though. Oh, my goodness. It's so pretty. I just want to, like, put it on a little stand and just, you know. <laughs> the wood one, definitely. Definitely good for, uh, if you can't afford this one, this one's a little cheaper. And if this one's too heavy for you, this is better for lightweight. I would definitely recommend the wood one. This one I'm going to have to come back to you guys on. I'm going to have to really put some work into it and see how I really feel because this test is not... I mean, it crochets just as nice. It crochets... It just... The flex scares me. Okay, well, now that I showed you all of my beauties... I'm going to put them back in their little boxes, and I'm going to turn the camera around to say goodbye. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed my review of my Furls hooks. I just thought I would show you guys because there's not, I, I haven't really seen any reviews on the Furls hooks. I've seen, like, where podcasters will recommend them, but I have not seen anyone do a thorough review my table is wet for my water so i gotta wipe it down a little bit um i haven't seen anybody do a review on the actual hooks there may be some out there i just haven't really looked but they ha i haven't seen any amongst the podcasters that i follow or watch so yeah do you guys have a furls hook do you have the acrylic one i would be really interested to see your guys's opinions too if you have them and i know I'm going to say this right off the bat. I know some of you cannot afford these hooks. I know some of you would never pay that for a hook. And I understand that. And I'm not trying to make anybody spend money that they don't have. That is not the goal of this video whatsoever. Um, because honestly, before I received this from my wonderful, wonderful subscriber, well, both of these, I wouldn't have bought these either. Um, I, I think that they are really expensive for a crochet hook, but honestly, this one is worth it to me because I have used the heck out of this thing and it does make me crochet quicker. I crochet a lot faster because the shaft is so smooth and it doesn't really tangle on the yarn and it just, I, I, I wish I could explain to you how much I love this hook. I really do. Um... The wood one is going to stay packed away, and prop these are probably going to stay packed up high just because the puppy is still in her chewing stage. And you guys, I know you guys have given me lots of advice on what to give her to chew on. She has everything you could possibly think of to chew on. She refuses to chew on anything that is meant for a dog. She will chew on everything else. So I'm going to keep these safe, and I'm going to keep her safe by keeping them out of her reach because... If she chews them, I will kill her. <laughs> but, yeah. So that, that was my opinion. And um, I, I welcome any of your opinions. <sighs> Scarlet, hang on. All right. Oh, man, that scared me. The blind is open, so the, the, um, the string is hung low. And Scarlet went to run away, and she got the cord wrapped around her throat, and, like, pulled herself really hard uh it scared me for a minute oh see that's what i'm telling you she's still a puppy and she's dumb as a box of rocks sometimes i mean she catches on to training really quick but some she just she's still in that puppy mindset and uh she's trying to kill herself sometimes <laughs> anyway with that i hope you all have a fantastic day remember to spread love not hate and uh, be kind to one another. Thank you.